Rashad here. You can hear me and you can see me. Today I have a special video for you. It's going to be how to ship your reptiles video. I remember my first time shipping reptiles. It was extremely difficult for me. Um, some people helped me out over at Reptile Express. That's who I used to ship my reptiles. And um, I'm basically going to show you how you would ship your reptile. Uh, first thing you want to always take into account is the temperature where you live as well as the temperature at your senders, at your your buyer's location or you know whoever the person you're selling it to. Once you find out if the temperature is appropriate at the location you're sending your reptile to, then you can deem necessary if it is necessary to use a heat pack or a cold pack. In this situation which I'm sending out Shimus's gecko, I will not need a heat pack because the temperature is going to be a bit high as here in my location as well as her location. So now we're going to look at my table and I'm going to show you all the necessary tools and items that you will need when shipping your reptile. As you can see here on my table, I have a deli cup, a deli cup top. Within my insulated box, I have insulation, foam insulation, one for the top and all four sides including the bottom, a paper towel, a little plant, a decorative plant, some shredded newspaper and that is it. What you're going to do is take your deli cup, you're going to place your napkin inside and then you want to moisten your napkin if it's a species that needs humidity. I'm going to spray down my deli cup, seeing that it is a crusty gecko I'm sending. I'm going to try to keep the sides up. Now that I have my moist paper towel in, what I'm going to do is just put in my little terrarium plant so that the geckos can fill at home through their travels. And then you add your gecko and you place it inside of the deli cup. I'm going to cut this part because if you guys own crusty geckos, you know their hatchlings are quick, so it's going to be a bit of a process for me to get this guy into the deli cup. Press the gecko in the deli cup. And you then place your deli cup inside of the box. You then place your paper inside that you will use to keep the gecko from moving around in too much turbulence. And you put on your foam insulator. There's nothing left but to just close the box, tape it up, and place on your labels. Okay, once you have your box packed, it should be something like this. This is the order it should be in. It should be your top insulating foam, paper mache, for to hold the gecko from moving around during transit, Billy cup with the gecko inside, moist paper towel, and a little bit of a plant just for decorative purposes as well as to help the gecko feel more secure. And that's how you ship a crested gecko or any other reptile need be. Thank you for watching. Once you make sure that your temperature is appropriate, then you can deem necessary whether it's necessary. You can okay. <clears throat> once you have your temperature appropriate. Once you find out,
be gay. That's the niggas that do when they was crunk and legal. <laughs> Ha 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 